Isaiah 54, 17. This is going to be a different type of video. And I just want to let people know that the word is the truth. The truth is the word. And I'm going to share with you some things that I've learned through my time in my life and how the word has actually helped me in my life to become the man that I am. So in order to go through Isaiah 54, 17, I have to go back to Isaiah 54. So what does Isaiah 54 talk about? And what does it lead to in regards to 17? So I'm not a bishop. I'm not a pastor. I'm not a prophet. I'm not an ordained minister. I haven't gone to theologian school. I'm just a man of God. I believe in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And this is for those who believe and those who want to believe in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And this is my way. This is my way to answer the call that God placed upon my life. And I'm going to do it the best way that I know how. So I'm going to go to the word. And this is coming from the King James Version. Isaiah 54, 17 says, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and the righteousness out of me, saith the Lord. So let's break this down. Weapons. I spent time in the Marine Corps and we want to make sure that we are prepared. But in the spirit realm and following our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the word says, no weapon against thee shall prosper. Against me shall prosper. Why does the word say that in my belief? Believe that there is God Almighty who has already claimed the victory. So no matter what trials, no matter what tribulations, no matter what daunting things that come into your life, God has already claimed the victory. And he's already empowered us with the tools necessary for us to go out there and make things happen according to his word. And we remain obedient to the word and know that this is the truth. There is nothing that's going to stop us. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ took it all to the cross, pass all the sins of the world, pass in the days of Enoch, in the days of Abraham, in, in the days of Adam, in the days of Eve, present where he was present and with the 12 that walked they walk with him and the future, which is right now and the future, which is coming. If he took all of that on him, just imagine what we can do when we have the Holy Spirit inside of us. No weapon against me, no weapon against thee shall prosper. And against thee in judgment shall condemn. And every tongue that shall rise against thee judgment, thou shalt condemn. So what does that mean? Every tongue. So there's going to be some people out there that are going to bring evil. There are demonic forces. There's a lot of negativity out in the world. And they're going to speak, especially if you're a walk, if you're walking with Jesus Christ, if you're a man or one of a God, there's going to be tongues. There's going to be words that are going to be spoken against thee, spoken against me, spoken against you. But we go back to the word. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Prosper. That means that they can't win. They will not win. They will not rise because we have the Holy Spirit. We have the word and we can take the word in our lives and just make our lives better, knowing that we have full faith and confidence in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and in God Almighty. But let's go to 16. I'm going to read 16 to you because this is important because if there wasn't an Isaiah 54, 17, or 16, there wouldn't be a 17. So Isaiah 54, 16 says, Behold, I have created a smith. I have created God Almighty created a smith that blow off the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created a waster to destroy. 
I have created our Lord, God Almighty, created the heavens and the earth. So everything that's happening right now is started with God. Six days and the seventh day he rested. I'm going to talk about that in another video. He created the smith. And let's go to created the smith. No weapon formed against me. So even though he created the smith, so whatever the smith, this is my, just my opinion and my belief, he created the smith that made these things possible, that actually blow up the coals into the fire, into the fire, into the flame, into that. Even that, there's no weapon that anyone can form shall prosper. So I give you this with the love of the Lord. And I share this message and this word with you. If you're going through struggles right now, if you're going through strain right now, if you're going through pain right now, if you're going through it all right now, know that the word is the truth and remaining obedient Remaining obedient to the word, the blessings are going to come. So we remain obedient to the word, not just this particular passage in the Bible, but the entire Bible. What a lot of people do, they just take one particular passage and then they forget about everything else. No, every word is the true. So we hold ourselves there at 5417. At 5417, no weapon against the shall prosper. Whatever you're going through, know that this word is the truth. And just like the fire, there's someone that said this. This is not in the word. I, don't, I believe everything is derived from the word. Is the stronger their pressure, the shinier the diamond. And coals, <laughs> coals have to have an extreme amount of pressure extreme amount of pressure, an extreme amount of pressure to make the finest of diamonds. So be cold today and surround yourself with believers and surround yourself with the gospel, with the gospel. And you input the gospel into your life. My friends, my family, no weapon against thee, against me or you who firmly believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will prosper. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to this channel because I am going to start delivering messages like this. One of my brothers, Zach Alvey, he said this, he said, mix it up. And one of the things that I want to do is continue to answer my call in my way. I believe that this is on time and is needed. Even if it's one, even if it's one that this word can bring you closer to Jesus Christ to save your soul. Cause we're living in a world right now where souls need to be saved. And I'm going to share this with you from my, my son, Micah, Micah Hakeem. Hey, he came to me last night and he said this, daddy, this is not my words. This is his, he says, daddy, I want to go to heaven so I could see you every day. Yeah, that's coming from a five-year-old. So I have to do my part. In heaven, getting there is not just about deeds, about just doing this and doing that. It's about the personal relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Are we going to commit our lives to our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ to be as obedient as we can and we'll not use the excuses, you know, everybody falls. I mean, all of us have sin for that. that that's, that's true, but that shouldn't be a crutch. That should be an excuse. That could be, should be a mulligan that we can go back to know every day. Am I, every second of the day, am I doing my best to remain obedient? Every hour, am I doing my best to be obedient. And this is the foundation. And we all have our lives. But it goes back to this. No weapon. Gets thee. Shall prosper. Isaiah 54 17. 
Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ saves. Are you going to devote your life to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? I love you enough to do this message. I love you enough to know that there are some things going to happen in our lives and I want the absolute best for you. Spiritually, first. The soul, first. Then everything else is going to take care of everything else. But are we working on our spirit, man? Are we working on our soul? If we work on our soul, greater things are going to come. That's in the word. God bless you. God keep you. To God, capital G-O-D, be all the glory.